Losing is an opportunity to learn a lesson, and I certainly learned something from last episode. Don't decide to have over 200 health, and then decide it's time to move in some more NPCs. Okay, now I kinda want to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> in order to enact my revenge on the Eye of Cthulhu, I needed speed. Assuming history repeats itself, like my older Let's Plays, it'd be a while before I'd find a pair of boots anyway, so I'd have to compensate for my lack of mobility. Instead, I decided to max out my health, mine for more ores for tools and armor, and collect the oddball occasional weapon. Oh, what the hell is that? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Useful or not. All this extra mining would allow me to cover some extra ground while preparing for my rematch. But in the middle of some exploring, the game decided to deal me a different hand of cards. Oh, slime is falling from the sky, really? Um, give me a moment. I, I will check on that in a second. All right, Lucky Horseshoe, which for some reason now shows up in these chests. No idea why. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to go back and deal with this. Hi, everybody. Now look, without Hermes boots, Sl King Slime, I can handle him. I got a snowball cannon. This shouldn't be too hard. We got grenades. We'll be completely fine. Now, all this slime killing, you probably don't need to see this part. You you've seen me kill slimes. You saw me kill slimes in like the first five minutes of the first episode. So we'll just uh, speed right through this. <laughs> Alright, here comes big boy. <laughs> here he comes. Alright, look, we got a snowball cannon. Again, this shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, jump over him. He's got the platform. We can just, uh, we can use that to our advantage. Alright, come on. Uh, perhaps we should start throwing grenades at him. Oh, fuck, here he comes. Um, don't hurt the NPCs, please. Okay. Oh, fuck, here he comes. Oh, shit. Okay. God, sometimes it's just, it gets so fucking crowded. Okay, um, we have a lucky horseshoe, so I am able to just jump around freely. Can he swim? No, he can't swim. He's one of the few slimes that can't swim. Alright. Come on, get him while he's in the trench! Alright, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh god, he's bouncing fast. He's a, he's a fast one. Oh fuck, here he comes. Okay, oh, and got him. Woo! Alright, all of you, clear out. Slime stop falling from the sky, open this up. Uh, all right, we got a lot of nice stuff. We even got the slime, uh, we got the slime saddle. All right, I gotta know, is there anything going on here in the jungle apart from the jungle? Like, is, is the corruption just gonna pop in and say like, yeah, I'm taking over half this space right now? Because this is looking pretty clean. Or maybe I'm speaking too soon. Wow, this is a large hole. At least we have a lot of access points if we want to dive into the jungle. I might want to set up a pylon here. Oh, hey. I mean, like, not that I'd ever use this, but hey. All right, we got a wand of sparking and incredibly useless magic weapon. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. 16 magic damage? I don't remember it doing that much damage. And as you can see, the jungle is safe. There, there's no corruption. No corruption touching it at all. Is there going to be a hidden home somewhere here? There is. Really, really far down. Uh, nothing important, though. All right, we have a large world. And we just reached the ocean without running into corruption. I I feel like there was corruption near the dungeon. All right, I'm coming, kid. Get over here. And you're on your own. Since we have so much free time, I thought it'd be a good idea to just keep jogging around. We might as well get a feel for our entire world before we uh, continue onward, since I'm pretty much just waiting for Eye of Cthulhu to spawn. And there's the corruption. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, what's going on here? A blowpipe, everybody's favorite ranged item that everybody definitely uses. Another radar, that's fine with me. We get plenty of bottles, we can make those into potions. We can jump down here just to see what's uh, going on. Maybe we'll immediately run into something good. Alright, here's the thing. As much as I'd like to save the uh, summoning eye, I'm probably going to use this at one point, and I don't really mind just missing out on one uh, drop from Eye of Cthulhu. So I think I'm just going to fight him. Uh, even though... I may be slightly outmatched due to my speed. I think I make up for it in my health and defense, and I'm also going to slap on a bunch of other buffs. So we got the archery, we got the iron skin, we got the swiftness, we've got a shine potion, we got a night vision potion, just for the fuck of it. Now, as everybody's celebrating my victory over the King Slime, um, they're about to have another reason to praise my name across the land. When I do this. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. You know what? Even with the swiftness, I also got sunflowers dotted around, so I do get another speed boost from there. So that's that's also pretty good. Um, I think I should have no problem facing off against I of Cthulhu in this state. Especially when I can just kind of double jump away a majority of the time. And also use my grappling hook. Now, I could have set up a, a layer of platforms, but where's the fun in that? I also replaced that platform that was there in the last episode. I replaced it with solid blocks because I ended up falling through it by accident when I grappled into it. That's why I decided to change it. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Here he comes. Uh, <laughs> grapple. Yep, there we go. That's the dodging I'm talking about. Alright, uh, do I want to swap the snowball cannon? We might have to swap the grenades soon. Oh my god, that was a sick dodge. Oh god. Watch out for my own grenades. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's heal just in case. Yep, that's it. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. Die already, please. Jesus, there we go. Easy. Give me that. Give me the shield of Cthulhu. We'll make the Fisher of Souls, and we'll also make the Light's Bane, because why not? Uh, we might as well have a sword that'll be one step towards making a Knight's Edge, and then so forth onto the Zenith, if we ever get the opportunity to make the weapon. Alright, finally stepping foot into the corrupted area of our world. Now, I'm expecting this area to be massive, considering it hasn't decided to touch any of the other biomes in this world. All right, we're gonna use our uh, snowball cannon. The bow actually doesn't do any knockback to these enemies, which is rather unfortunate. Right now, I'm kinda just kinda hanging around here. One of the ne necessary items that we're gonna need to fight the Eater of Worlds is that we're gonna need to get ourselves an Eater of Souls banner, just so these guys don't really bug us while we're fighting it. All right, well, let's pick up our musket. We might as well use it. Let's hope we don't get hit with a goblin army, like, directly the next day. All right, we got a fleeting band of star power. Not that I'm really going to use it. A vile thorn would be a pretty nice item to get. But, uh, that doesn't seem to be the case for now. We might be able to get one. And there's plenty of shadow orbs just buried in the corruption. So we can have as many attempts with the Eater of Worlds as we want. All right, now because I'm this fucking confident, I'm going to start building an arena here because I am very confident that I could beat Eater of Worlds, even without the Hermes boots. And the Eater of Souls banner is going up, and now we have free reign of this area. We'll use some corrupted campfires. Couldn't hurt. Uh, let's start uh, lighting up some of these areas down here. Oh my god, this goes deep. Oh my god, it runs so deep. So look, call me a fool, but you can't blame me for trying. I don't have an archery potion. Um, whoa, hi. Uh, that's not the Eater of Worlds. <laughs> there he is. Oh, fuck. Okay, I actually have to be- Oh, fuck. <laughs> and luckily, my reputation has not been completely tarnished because everybody's still celebrating my victory over the Eye of Cthulhu and do not remember my crushing defeat against the Eater of Worlds. All right, something has just come to my attention that I had no idea was a thing. There are enchanted Nightcrawlers on the ground. I didn't know that happens. I didn't know these guys could actually just appear on the ground as bait to pick up. Now, nothing much really happened this night. I really just decided to run around and pick up as many fallen stars as I possibly could, and maybe cover some hidden area on the map that I haven't seen yet, aka all the stuff that's on the surface. So the rest of the night was pretty uneventful. I really just wanted to devote myself to running around and picking up as many fallen stars as possible, because one fallen star will be able to make a ton of jester arrows, which will come in handy for the Eater Worlds fight when I decide to give it the run back. And before you know it, we have 670 jester arrows. This should be plenty to finish the fight with Eater of Worlds. Now I thought one other way I could make the fight a bit more bearable was if I made myself some of these uh, life crystal lanterns or heart lanterns. So let's just make a few of these, and we can place these in our arena to use it in the fight. So after organizing my inventory, I decided to head to the corruption, and let's give the Eater of Worlds another good attempt. All right, give me another musket. Was it anything good? Nope, it's just another normal musket. And without further ado, let's get this fight up and running. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, Um, can you, can you give me a chance to actually get back to my arena, please? Okay, let's get this fight going. Uh, buff. All right, hi. Get out of here. We don't need you. You're irrelevant. I have an archery potion this time around. Let's see how this fares against the Eater of Worlds. All right, let's also avoid that because damn, that did a lot of damage. All right, come on. I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. All right, let's try Let's try to be a bit more careful about which segments we're destroying here. Okay, we, we haven't done any damage to the head at all. All right, well, there goes that segment. I'm going to focus on this guy. There we go. Whoa, he still got me. I, I can't believe he tanked that. All right, come on. Get that guy out of here. Keep him one segment. Is there a thunderstorm outside? <laughs> I, I looked out my window because I thought it was a thunderstorm happening outside my house, but no, that's in the game. We're having a way easier time with this, though. We have plenty of hearts down there on stockpile. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god, we got this fight in the bag. Yeah, we, we got this fight in the bag. I'm, I'm paying attention for the vile spit. Ow. Should probably also be paying attention to the actual boss. Get out of here. Man, that thunder's loud. <laughs> It's like Minecraft Thunder. You can like hear it at Y11 and you can still just hear it clear as day. Okay, ow. Come on guys, everybody calm down. Party's over. You the last one? Because you're not completing the mission. Get out of here. Give me this, all the demonites. Now I used up about 200 of my Jester arrows. Uh, how, how, long, how long do these buffs last? 
I wonder if we got time for another one. Well, I got the Vile Thorn, and I got my first light pet. Give me this. I'm sure the Eater of Worlds is very displeased. I'm, I'm assuming he wants to play best of three. All right, Eater of Worlds, come here. We can have a best of three. You asked for it. Oh, I knocked a huge chunk off that guy. He is no more. Oh, there goes that guy's tail. Get rid of some of those chunks. Oh, that's a very, that's a very weak chunk right there. Let's split him apart a bit. Whoa, hi. <laughs> Very tiny dude right there. Oh, oh geez. All right, I'm waiting to get a good chunk of him. I want to optimize the use of my jester arrows. All right, and gone, 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 gone. You know what? It would have also been good just to get the worm scarf before I actually did the fight again. Uh, I just opened the treasure bag and got one. I still have a bunch of spare potions that I haven't used yet, so like we might as well. Oh, okay. Well, I I guess I asked for a blood moon too. Why not? Oh, we got a good chunk of him right here. Oh god, he's charging too fast. All right, come on. Uh, we've got 70 Jester Arrows left. This will be our last fight with him. Got him. Easy. All right, we get it. It's raining outside. <laughs> God damn, let me go back home. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Hey, a meteorite has landed. That's all fine and dandy, but we'll probably get that next episode. What I'm going to do, last but not least, is I want to get the Demonite Aura and the Shadow Scales gathered up, uh, all accumulated in one space, and I'm going to make a ton of Demonite Bars. And we're going to use that to not only make ourselves a Nightmare Pickaxe, so we'll be able to mine the Meteorite in the first place, and then eventually Hellstone. We can now get rid of this, we won't need this anymore. We can also make the Shadow Armor, and this is the first full, complete set of armor that we've made. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I would call this a happy ending for this episode, so I think I'm gonna leave this here. Um, there's, not, there's no reason to really play out this Blood Moon, I mean, I don't really feel like fighting all these mobs. Sure, we can get the money trough, but I'd rather just move on to do other things. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Terraria, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.